Start a conversation. You're the producer. What do you think we well, should... Well, what would you like to know? Well, it, Where I, you I've, are? Got, I've got a quandary, J.D. Oh, um, big word. Yeah, it is, it is a big word, but yes. last, last week, you remember, I yes. spoke to you about putting a proposal to the Today programme. Yeah. Because they want somebody or something to fill in the space in the summer when everybody's away. Right. They want the listeners to make suggestions. Right. So I've got two quandaries. The first quandary is they say, well, we don't want we don't want professional people putting proposals in, but we're we're a community radio show, aren't we? We're I think of us as citizen journalists. Well, I don't think we're professional people. No. We don't, we don't get money for this. No, we so, don't. And um, yeah, so there you go. I think we're not we're but I don't quite put it really a non-professional in a professional way. In a roundabout sort of in way. In a roundabout way, yes. Yes, well, I think that's fair enough. <laughs> yes, I think. Well, anyway, if they t- if they turn us down, we'll just yeah. use the, use the yep. guidelines anyway. Yeah. Because I I don't I don't think we should um, hold back from anything. I think we should just put the proposal to them, and use the same material ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then if they do do a show in August or sometime, they mm-hmm. can use the, old, the the previous bits or redo it or right. re-interview whoever we've come into contact with. Right. In, be- in better circumstances, presumably. Right. So I don't think we should worry about that. No. But, no. but the no. the thing I do worry about the the, um, the stand-up philosopher, the storyteller. Right. Matthew, he sent me an email saying, "Oh yeah, this is very interesting," <laughs> and he had some ideas in it. Yeah. And then I've gone back to him, and now he's gone into silence mode. Ah. Um, well, th- people do, you see. Yeah, that's, they do. That's the thing. Now. Chris, before you arrived, I was explaining to JD that um, I have a quandary because the I th- the storyteller, the Woodsworth and Deal Theatre, yeah. Cartwheels Collective, their internet connection comes and goes because I think there's, they have got a barn they're converting, but they're also in a in the back of a van from time to time, and as they wander about in this van. Sometimes they've got Wi-Fi, and sometimes they haven't. Yeah. And um, so they did reply to my inquiry, with, have they got any ideas about the Today programme and a, a sort of educational show? And But he hasn't replied back when I said, oh, yes, that's interesting, and tried to work it into everything else that I've written down. OK. Um, but I think I'm just going to assume that they'd like to do the show. And then we'll have to work it out if they're not going to do the show. Because we're supposed to have between three and six people. Yeah. So if, we'd, if we're three and um, the Cartwheels Collective is two and John, we don't know if he'd be interested or not really, we can, we can have some, some that would, we can just say we've got a number between three and six and I yeah. shall borrow the storyteller's ideas, which for the purposes of sound, I'll just run through quickly. What he says is if, if it's going out in August, the, the results will be in. So all these exams people sit in May and June, or when yeah. do they sit them? May and June. May yeah. and, yeah. Well, they'll get, but they'll be getting results. Yeah. In August. So yeah. he wants to ask the question, what, what actually do these exams... I think I've got this right. What, what do the exams demonstrate? What are they testing? That you can write the answers that they want to hear and you can be given a letter grade for that. Ah. Oh. Well, that, so that that's an that's one answer, but he want he want he wants to look at mathematics. Does he? And he thinks the nature of the testing is influencing what is taught or how it's taught. Okay. Something something like that. Okay. Um, but he also wants to ask the question: what education is about? And reference Socrates and various philosophers and th- they, that sort of idea. He's also interested in the the Russell group, which I've sort of got already. 
if we if we if we get to um somebody will tell us why they're still investing in student accommodation and not putting money online yeah but i don't think we will i don't think anybody's prepared to answer that question no maybe the bbc can find somebody but um i think i really we, it, if the if the today program has got two hours to fill uh, we, the bits we're proposing might not take very much time because we might not get any guests. Oh, yeah. So in that circumstance, uh, what he's talking about may have to fill up most of the time. But you didn't think the Today programme would want to know? Well, they might want to know. They might think these uh, these ideas... Or we might have got more by that by August. Um, we might have found out more anyway because we're, go, we're going to bet next week. Then there's learning technologies, so we, yeah. we we'll have more sound clips or guest suggestions. Or we don't have to make it exclusive to the Today program. They, they've probably got ways of making it special for them anyway. Okay. So I'm going to put the application in saying that the Cartwheels Collective is a possibility. Because I think we should... We, I think the deadline is the end of next week, but we're going to be busy next week. So I'm going to send it off Monday or Tuesday. Oh. Well, no, Monday. We're actually going, going on Tuesday, aren't we? We are. So 